Hey YouTube, my name is Ben, and in this video I'm going to talk about specific heat capacity and heat transfer. I have, as you can see, an equation at the top of the screen that kind of looks like gibberish, but it's, it's not. It is what we call in chemistry the a, uh, heat transfer equation. And Q is the quantity of heat gained or lost when a given mass of a substance is warmed or cooled. And to find Q, we need to know three things. We need to know the specific heat, which is the amount of heat needed to raise one gram of a substance, one Kelvin, or one degree Celsius. And the units of this are joules per gram Kelvin or joules per gram uh, degree Celsius. And it doesn't matter which temperature unit you use. Delta T is the is the change in temperature the substance undergoes. And M is the mass of the substance we're examining. And if that didn't make sense to you right, right there, we're going to do two examples, and hopefully you'll get it by the end of the, the two examples. So let's, let's start with the first one I have at the bottom of the screen, right here. All right. In an experiment, it was determined that 59.9 joules was required to change the temperature of 25 grams of ethylene glycol, a compound used as antifreeze in automobile engines, by 1 Kelvin. Calculate the specific heat capacity of ethylene glycol from this data. So let's just make a list of what we know, and then we can see how we can solve. So we want to find C. So I'm just going to put that here. So we know. We want to find the specific heat, which is C. Well, do we have three other parts of three other variables? So we can solve for the fourth. Let's see. We know that it requires 59.9 joules to change the temperature. So we know that Q must be 59.9. And that M must be 25 grams. So we have 25 grams of the substance. And we know the change in temperature is 1 Kelvin. So now we can plug these three things back into this equation to find C. We can just do that right now. Times 25. Times one, and that's equal to fifty and that means C is equal to get my calculator out, nine point nine divided by twenty five. Two point three nine six joules per gram Kelvin. So that would be the specific heat of ethylene glycol. The amount of energy needed to raise one gram, one Kelvin, or one degree Celsius. So let's go to our next example. Alright. What quantity of heat is required to raise the temperature of 50 milliliters of water from 25.52 degrees Celsius to 28.75 degrees Celsius? The density of water at this temperature is 0.997 grams per milliliter. So we know this is a little more complicated problem, but we can figure out our three different variables. So what do we know? 
we have volume, which is 50 milliliters. We have density. And we have the temperature change, which is, so we want to raise the temperature. So we want it to be a positive temperature change. So it's always for temperature change, temperature final minus temperature initial, which would be Twenty eight point seven five minus twenty five point five two. And that is equal to three point two three. Celsius. All right. Well, in this equation, we need it. We want Q equals C times M times change in P. Well, we have change in temperature. They expect us to know C for this problem, and you should know that the specific heat of water is always going to be four point one eight four that is an eight joules per gram Kelvin. And you just have to commit that to memory. So we have C. We just need M. And we should be able to use these two pieces of information to find M. If we know we know that density equals mass divided by volume. So if our density is 0.997 grams per milliliter, and that equals our mass divided by 50, we know that M is equal to 0.997 times 50, which is 49.85 grams. And now we can use this and this and this to solve for the quantity of heat. So we know that Q equals C 4.184 times our mass 49.85 times our change in temperature. 3.23 which should equal 3.23 times 49.85 4.184 Six, eight, nine joules. And there's our answer. All right. So I apologize for my very messy handwriting. I just want to kind of recap over everything. Specific heat is the amount of heat required 
to raise a substance, one gram of the substance, one Kelvin or one degree Celsius. And in this YouTube video, we learned how to use a heat transfer equation where we can see what um, what quantity of heat is gained or lost by a given mass of a substance when it's warmed or cooled and to do that we just need to know three three variables the specific heat the mass and the change in temperature the substance underwent and if you're given any three of the four variables you can solve for the fourth and as in problem two you may just have to be a little creative in how you get those those three variables they may not be very obvious so I just want to thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed have a good day